Hello, I'm Abyx Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to talk about Minecraft and its relationship with downloadable content or DLC. This is something I've actually done a couple of videos on when it comes to the console edition and the pocket edition, because more and more DLC is coming out every single you know month of every single year, and it makes that you know it begs the question of just like is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Today I want to give my opinion on what the best piece of DLC are when it's done right and when it adds to the game, and what the absolute worst piece of DLC that to exist for Minecraft are. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll be doing in today's video. Hopefully you'll do enjoy. It. If you do, like and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like these sorts of videos where I give my opinion on what is you know going to be a big issue that's shaping up to be bigger and bigger because right now there's four categories of DLC on Minecraft console this is going to be going up to five add-ons and it's going to be expanding over and over time and you can kind of see two massive arguments for and against it the big argument against it is wait the PC version of the game doesn't have to pay for any of this sort of stuff and uh, you know they get you know free skin packs they get uh, free texture packs they get free downloadable worlds why do you and also you can get free mini games on servers why do you have to pay on the console to get extra maps, to get extra skins, to get textures and that sort of stuff, and it really is kind of hard to, uh, you know, debunk that until you realize well, it's a console, you can't just go into your you know, browser, download, you know, some skin and add it that way, and, uh, you know, the game wouldn't be able to support that anyway, so what is the compromise? Well, the compromise is they have, like, a professional art team, again, like, half their team is dedicated just to doing art for stuff like this so they can make, like, you know, professional uh, you know, texture packs that, you know, again, by any definition, are really good texture packs, you know, if you port them to the PC, they're gonna be pretty great. Uh, they make these really cool recreations uh, you know, exclusive to the console, by the way, of really big things like Skyrim, of like Mass Effect, and they even get licensing involved with a lot of these things. So if you look at, you know, the Skyrim Mashup Pack, the Mass Effect Mashup Pack, they're licensed, so they have. Oh, there's two copies for some reason, but <laughs> they're licensed, so they have the actual music of it in there, and that's really cool. Same thing goes for stuff like the Star Wars skin packs. These are licensed skins. You're not just, you know, being a fake, uh, you know, like a, uh, you know, Darth Vader on the PC. You actually can be like, okay, so let's go for like the Doctor Who. If you go to like certain things, you can see they're big skins, they're small skins. They can do stuff with these skins they can't enough platforms and that's adding value to the game that's great stuff i think the fact that it's all optional is really great in that form so yeah that's that's the argument on both sides argument against it is the pc gets it for free argument for it is there's no way to do that pc system and if you do it this way not only can you kind of skirt around uh, you know the copyright kind of issues of the whole pc thing but you can also make it uh, you know in a way that one it's going to be entirely optional so you can just not do it and make the game the same price but two uh, if you do want to do it it's all going to be above board it's going to be professionally designed and that's going to be cool stuff but it's it's not quite as simple as that. It's not just like, oh yeah, this DLC is so good value because it's so uh, freshly designed. Because if you want all of this, if you want to get the full game, the amount you have to spend on Minecraft is more than a full cost game. You can see three pound nineteen, two thirty nine, three pound nineteen. Add that's the text packs, which are all two thirty nine. Add that's the skin packs, which get pretty steep. And you can kind of see how you're spending more on the DLC than you're spending not only on Minecraft itself, but like I said, a full on game this way. So uh, yeah, what is the kind of other side of that? I think the other side is they need to be careful when they release DLC, and they need to. I, I, I would say they need to release free stuff because again you look at the skin packs and some of this stuff I, I see like yeah it makes sense they need to charge for that. The Simpsons skin pack this is Simpsons characters I get they you know they probably have to pay a fee each time this is downloaded if you look at stuff like uh, Star Wars same sort of thing Marvel I believe there's skin packs over here if we go far enough down uh, there's Marvel skin packs too are they all the way at the top you know there's Marvel skin packs for a bunch of stuff these are the sort of skin packs that you look at and you can say yeah I, I, I get why that's exclusive to the platform uh, but the sort of thing where, uh, sorry I, I get why that's uh, you know needs to be charged for but when you look at certain skin packs about half the skins are, you know, licensed and half them are just random stuff. So, Skin Pack 5, where my Ocelot comes from, this is an Ocelot skin. This is licensed by Minecraft itself. I mean, the tail's nice, but besides that, it's just, you know, an Ocelot skin. I have a similar skin on the other platforms. Uh, about half these skins are stuff like, uh, you know, again, like German soldiers. Again, no, you don't need any licensing to this sort of stuff, but every now and then you have a skin here that's like, oh yeah, you can be this character from a game. So, this is from Far Cry 3. This is, uh, sorry, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. This is from uh, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, 4. This is from Assassin's Creed The Fool. Assassin's Creed 3 so on and so forth. These are proper characters from proper games, probably licensed, and again, I imagine there's either some fee in there or there's some understanding that it is a paid skin pack. But the reason that I think this gets really ridiculous to a certain point because, again, paying for a skin pack is something I think is kind of ridiculous, but if you need that skin pack because you want to be that skin and you want to be, you know, you don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, Rayman that, you know, just looks like Rayman but the thing, whereas if you want to be Rayman in this skin pack, so let's uh, go the way over here, as you can see, he's, he's, he's invisible, and I can see the value in that. But, where I can't see the value, or even then, I, I think the pricing's a bit off, because if you wanted to buy a skin pack 5, by the way, it costs you, I think it's £1.59, yeah, which is kind of steep, but again, you can be like, well, they're, you know, it needs to be that way, it's a shame that it is, but that's the way it is. But then you move on to stuff like the Redstone Specialist skin pack and the Biome Settlers skin pack. These are the absolute worst pieces of DLC for Minecraft console, and I think this is them going in the entirely wrong direction. This is an easy just cash in from, I don't know if Mojang designs them themselves, I don't know if the Microsoft team designs them, I don't know if they were designed by 4J originally, 
unfortunately, I don't know who designed these things, but they are, the, the, the principle is absolutely awful, because all they are is they're just random Minecraft characters that if you were on the PC, so let's show the, you know, let's show the uh, Biome Settlers, because I think this is the absolute worst piece of DLC ever. Like, because these are skins that you could just have on the PC, uh, oh, sorry, on the Pocket Edition or the PC, just, yeah, put the skin on, oh yeah, you're a desert engineer. But on the console, it's kind of abusing the fact that you can't have your own skin and saying, well, guess what? You have to buy it from us if you want to be this guy. And I think they're all off. Like, I, I don't think anyone wants to be these skins. If I could see the sales figure, I would imagine these are the lowest selling skins. But the idea behind them, you know, that if you want to, you know, have this sort of stuff, you have to pay for it, is absolutely bizarre and awful. And I, I really do not like that in any particular way. This is the worst piece of DLC. This is a sign of like, oh yeah, Microsoft can just make money from Minecraft players. Because, you know, even if only 1% of Minecraft players buy this, because I think very few people have any care about the Biome Settlers or the Redstone Specialists, I think this is the sort of skin pack that, you know, just, again, it doesn't add any real value. It's just, oh yeah, these are some skins we came up with and they vaguely fit a theme. Uh, you know, this one came out just after the Redstone Update Pocket Edition. You know, it vaguely fits a theme and we hope you want to buy it. I don't like that at all. I, I like it when they use, uh, you know, the skin packs to do cool stuff. Uh, you know, like, like I said, you know, like Doctor Who, I can be a Dalek if I want to, if we go far enough to the left. Uh, you know, I can be a Sontaran, I can be a Cyberman. I can be all these sorts of cool things that you, would not only would you not be able to be on the PC, you know, the legal issue reasons, but you wouldn't be able to be them. Also, look at this. Isn't that cute? But <laughs> not only would you not be able to be them, but also certain skins just wouldn't be possible. Uh, you, you wouldn't be able to be Chopper because he's half the size of a normal skin. You wouldn't be able to be, uh, you know, a Stormtrooper with the actual helmet poking out. You wouldn't be able to be these skins because they're just not possible in that way. When they add value in that, that's cool. But when they just take, you know, some random skins that you could have just, again, they're, they're, there's not even any real points to them. They're just eight skins, but then customized three times. And then they sell it like a full price skin pack at £1.70 for 24 skins that no one really particularly needs. I don't know. It's it's optional, but it still rubs me the wrong way. I, I feel like every piece of DLC should be trying to do something cool, whether it is like, oh yeah, here's a cool texture pack that does something we haven't seen before. Again, I haven't seen many PC texture packs that do anything like this. I uh, You know, some of these are kind of like PC ones, but they're all still really well done. When it's the mashup packs, it's all, you know, really well done worlds. I love this world. It was a fun little adventure map. Uh, whether it is, you know, like a Halo themed world. Again, they think of licensing. This this sort of stuff is cool. And even in the skin packs, I don't like skin packs myself. I ranted about them before, but they all make sense, uh, you know, up to a point. I think, uh, you know, if you look at the, the Simpsons skin pack, you can be a Simpsons and that's great stuff. But where it gets problematic is when you stop trying to add that extra value of this is licensed or we, we've got custom skins or this or that. And instead it's just like, oh yeah, here's, here's some things we made. Go, go buy them for full price, by the way. I don't like that at all. And that's why the Biome Settlers skin pack on both the Pocket Edition and the Xbox uh, and I I don't know if it's on the PlayStation, but wherever this is, is one of the worst things ever. I, th I think the one argument you can make for this is like, well, it's actually going to be really useful when we have a 16 player multiplayer on the console. But, you know, because, you know, if, if you don't know, it's, it seems like there's the tiniest hint in there that like, oh, there's eight of each skin. So there's eight desert skins. There's uh, eight Arctic skins and eight forest skins. You can maybe be like, well, when a uh, 16 player multiplayer comes, you can all be uh, forest people and that will come into a mini game. Maybe if this is like some preparation for that, this makes sense. But I, I really don't see it. I think this is just an easy uh, a cash in almost. And I don't like that. I think Minecraft should always about, uh, you know, DLC should always about be, be about improving the game adding stuff for people who want to pay for it, not just about, oh, here's, here's some stuff we made. So that's my opinion on what the worst piece of DLC is and why. Hopefully you all enjoy this video talking about, again, what I think uh, good DLC and bad DLC is. Always down to hear your opinions in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. You, do you like um, DLC as a whole? Do you only like the stuff where it's like, oh yeah, we've got the Simpsons or Doctor Who or, you know, Mass Effect or Skyrim? Because I really like that stuff personally. Or do you, do you, you know, do you like it all? Do you even like the Biome Settlers? Because it's, it's all choice and admittedly you can just ignore it if you don't want to. That's what I done i don't cover them on my channel uh that's my kind of like small contribution let me know what you think in the comments because i'm always curious and uh i'm sorry if this wasn't the video you wanted to see today if it's not there'll be another one later on or earlier on but yeah thank you all very much for watching my little ranting thing because i enjoy uh getting my thoughts on my chest and this sort of thing uh if you did then uh that's good but if not then i'll see you all in the next video so goodbye everyone